Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to factor um, this trinomial. And the way that I'm going to show you how to factor the trinomial is um, looking at this. When we, whenever we're factoring trinomials and we just have the, a quadratic term x squared, where we say the coefficient is 1, then we automatically know that when we're going to write this as a product of two factors, the first two terms of my factors are going to be x. Because when I apply FOIL, or you know, distributive property, I'm going to multiply x times x. That's going to give me x squared. So now what I need to do is determine what are going to be the values that are going to multiply to give me negative 72. Now, forget about negative 72 for a second. Let's just look at 72. The numbers that multiply to give me 72 are 72 and 1. I could do 36 times 2. I could do 18 times 4. Um, I could do 6. I could do 12 times 6. And I could do 9 times 8. So there's a lot of different ways that I can multiply to give me negative 72, right? There's only one way to get x squared. That's you know x times our x. Um, you could look at the negative, but we're not going to worry about negatives right now. Um, just because it's just going to make the problem much more complicated than we really need to uh, work through. So if we have x times x, now one of these numbers, to give us negative 72, that means one of them has to be negative. So I can make all of these negative over here, or I can make all these negative. It doesn't matter. One of the factors has to be negative. But the important thing is, before I just start randomly choosing you know, which numbers, is it going to be 18 and 4 or 12 and 6, I need to say, well, if I can find two numbers that will multiply give me negative 72, that's fine. But where does that 6x come from? And the 6x comes from, when I multiply these two numbers, let's use 18 and 4, right? And let's say it's going to be positive 18 minus 4. Well, I know 18 times negative 4 gives me negative 72, right? So pretty much what we do is we have these two parts covered from the distributive property. But remember, distributive property or FOIL, you also have to multiply these two. And, these and when you multiply 18 times x and x times negative 4, well, that gives me, um, that gives me uh, 14x, right? So you can combine those middle terms. And when you combine those middle terms, that gives you 6x. So basically, when we're trying to find 6x, what we're really doing is saying, all right, we know the factors are going to multiply to give me 72. But which of my factors, when I add them, are going to give me positive 6x? Now, since 6x is positive, I know when I add a positive and a negative number, if I'm going to get a positive number out, that means the larger of the two numbers that I just added has to be positive. So I'm going to go all to my factors and say all of the larger factors have to be positive. Now, out of these factors, which two? No. Yeah, all, the larger number has to be positive. I just wrote the larger numbers all being negative. Good job. So now, out of these factors, which two, when I, when I add, give me positive 6? Well, you can see right here, my two factors are 12 and negative 6. So now, I'll just go and write them in there, x plus 12 x minus 6. Now, when I apply distributive property, I have x squared minus 6x plus 12x uh, minus 72. These obviously combine to a positive 6x. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you factor a trinomial. Thanks.